Howdy, YouTube. Travis, thank you for your generous donation to PayPal. They write, please watch my music video on stream and promote my work. My band name is Lava Level. The song is Baby Bottle Bloodbath. Here is the, the uh, YouTube link. That's an interesting title for a song, fuck it does. But yeah, I'll check them out here in a bit. Uh, Lava Level, that's what's up. New uh, band. Paid me a nice hefty sum of cash to the old PayPal to do that, and I appreciate that. Again, you don't have to donate, but if you do, it's greatly appreciated. You know, there are people out there who beg for money on the YouTube. I don't beg for it. I beg for your time, not not any if, if anything, you know. Just take a time to listen to Cobra and see what he has to say. Colin, thank you for your dollar thirty-four. Appreciate you, bud. Hey Cobra, did you know that most cam girls on sites like Shadow are sex trafficked? I would call bullshit on that. That's your opinion, and then we're just gonna leave it at that. I'd rather watch China bait than actual conventional porn because the women are in control of what they do on their cams. So I don't know about that. Well, happy New Year's pre Eve. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. I'll be doing a stream. Closer to midnight, my time. Sniper, no snipings. Thank you for your one dollar to cash app. Says, do a vocal show. Show those trolls who's boss. I appreciate that, but I do gotta watch copyright when I'm doing vocal covers. I show them who's boss every day, dude. And I refuse to stop being awesome, to be honest. Kellen, thank you for your $20 to PayPal. Shoot. You got a lot of shit from people, but I enjoy your streams. Keep it up, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Check out Tactical Soap. Link in the description box below. The coupon code King Cobra, you can start your uh, your New Year's off right. Smelling sexy for the ladies. I do have a uh, new drink combo to debut tonight. I'm only going to have like one or two because I want to save the rest for tomorrow as tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I did have one off camera and it is delicious. Hey man, my wife is a big fan, which is cool. But I caught her furiously rubbing her walnut to one of your videos. Not cool, man. <laughs> hey, Nicholas, thank you for your $2, bud. Sorry, can't help it. Cobra's just badass like that. You're taking a note out of Cobra's book and start paying attention to my gender relation rant videos. Which I go too far with to prove my point. But it gets people talking because nobody wants to listen. I'm going to continue to be a straight ally who's also a white ally kind of thing. I stand up for Black Lives Matter and LGBTQ+, even if you don't stand up for me. It's just all about being the bigger person, man. Kurt, thank you for your $10 to PayPal. Get a cheap bottle of booze on me. <laughs> yeah, but I appreciate it. I like to drink, but I'm not going to cut down is what the trolls are going to say, but I am going to cut down, and that's what I'm saying. Fuck the trolls, dude. I'm not doing this for them. I'm doing it for me, you know? I get tired of being out of booze all the time, and... I barely catch a buzz. You know, it's bullshit. You cut down your tolerance because it's better. You cut down your tolerance goes up. It's better for your health is what I'm trying to say. Blah. Mm. 
<clears throat> Every donation is greatly appreciated. <clears throat> but not required. The money I make from uh, YouTube is a bonus. I'm here for my fans, man. People tuning in going, what's Cobra's next crazy drink combo? What's his cooking video going to be about? You know, I finished off the uh, pizza that I had, and I got some uh, food for tomorrow when I get hungry, so we're good on that. I'm actually quite full at the moment. Thomas, thank you for your $1 to cash app. For tomorrow is my birthday. Can I get a protection circle? Yes, Thomas, a circle of protection for you, and happy birthday tomorrow, today, whenever it may be, so mo to be. As you can already tell, this uh, drink combo consists of the lovely Jack Daniels. I tried to get a bottle of monkey shoulder, shoulder scotch, but someone bought the last bottle, so I'm like, you know what, it is what it is. It is what it is, YouTube. Okay, that's not stiff enough. There we go. A little bit more. Yeah, that's stuff. Ah, uh, Jack Daniels, helping ugly girls look attractive since the 1800s. Kidding, YouTube. Jeez. Got some IBC black cherry soda. We're going to mix the black cherry with the Jack Daniels and call it a black cherry cobra. It is fucking delicious. Though this soda is not a sponsor. Clean, free advertising. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> People are trying to get the, uh, the, uh, the cam footage for when I got arrested. You do realize you need a judge's permission for that, right? And if you're not living in Cheyenne, Wyoming, or Casper, any, anywhere in Wyoming, they're less likely to give it to you. Fuck the trolls. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. I'll make my second drink for the day, and I am good. I might have a Bud Light after this, but that's really all I need. You know? I like Jack Daniels, but this stuff gets expensive, and it's bad for your liver. <laughs> Strangers in the night. Okay, Frank Sinatra, calm the fuck down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. We've seen videos of Cobra busting out Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra. And more recently, Lemmy Kilmeister with Ozzy's Hellraiser. I had fun singing that on YouTube. I was getting a little bit drunk channeling the spirit of rock and roll and and uh yeah i was feeling it but i know i'm a badass nicholas thank you for your two dollars can we get a sean performance please please watch the song on stream i just want to collab fuck the trolls for sure. Thank you for your $20 again from the same individual as last time. Yes, I'd be happy to watch the song on on stream. I agree. Fuck the trolls. They're assholes. I dare to be a dreamer and put myself out there, and they can't handle it. They're afraid to be themselves. Their lives are more miserable than my drinking, and their obsession with me is more unhealthy than my drinking. And it's the pretty bottle, YouTube. Yes. 
not a sponsor. Now, Jack Daniels is for 21 and up, and as all alcohol commercials will tell you, drink responsibly. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like a cunt for the way I acted on Friday. I really do. Oh, I am cutting back. The Jack tells me I hate sickos. This is my second drink today, and this is being put up for later. That's all I need right now. I had two mixed drinks of Jack and then a Bud Light, and that's all I need. That's three drinks total. <clears throat> it's not doing it to get drunk, it's doing it to socialize. There's a difference. You drink to socialize versus drink to get drunk. There is uh, a difference. So yeah, Travis, I'll do a review of your song, bud, for sure. That's most definitely what's up. Ben, thank you for your $1.15 to PayPal. Says from the UK. The UK, cheers. I'd love to see England. I think that would be just beautiful. I've heard... For England's rolling greenest hills. Now I could drink pink champagne, sing Elton John and the Backstreet Boys, and be totally comfortable with my heterosexuality and give a fuck what anyone thinks. That scores me points with people, and I get to show off my singing voice. Well, thank you, Travis, for your 20 bucks. Oh, yeah, I'm subscribing.
would like to point out how sad my trolls' lives are. Cobra's going, what's my next live stream going to be? What's my next drink combo? And my trolls sit around going, oh, how can we fuck with Cobra next? All it's doing is getting people to feel sorry for me and hate your asses even more. And trust and belief, I got fucking fans who pretend to be trolls to get inside your little troll lair. So have fun with that. I got people on the inside who are double agents. They pretend to be my biggest troll just to get information out of the real trolls. I got people who are watching you, man. I don't got to do shit to fuck with these assholes in real life. I don't have to do anything to get inside my troll's head other than go live and have a drink and talk to my fans. I like the sound of your, your stuff, man. Here's the best part of it. I don't got to scare off girls that my trolls like to get inside their heads. And the best part about that is, is I got fangirls for days, dude. Women dig when I'm preaching, even if I'm an ass about it sometimes. <laughs> Just sit and they're like, stick your hand up my ass and make me talk, fucker. <laughs> ThrowThings.com did an amazing job upgrading him. And I took some rubbing alcohol and cleaned the paint off his face. He sat next to my workbench at my old apartment. And uh, as a result, yeah. I spray paint the wands outside here, though, because they were very clear about that when I was first moving in. They were like, no, 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 no. Spray paint outside, please. And I says, all right, that's fine. I may be autistic, but I'm not stupid, you know? <laughs> Interesting. You know, all kinds of crazy looking videos here. What do you think, YouTube? You liking the way that sounds? I want to plug their YouTube channel and chat so you can check them out. They're a fan of my videos. Check out that metals. I'm going to need to check out that Danny Brown, too, because he seems like a pretty cool dude. Yeah, no copyright infringement intended. Like, Ain't It Funny, official music video featuring, yes, this is about five years ago, Dur John Hill. 
You began a guided meditation video in your living room, but now you're taking your practice outdoors. Find my... Subscribe to his channel because he supports me on YouTube. I appreciate it, man. Yo, fuck sexism, fuck racism, and power to the people. Physical attention from older men makes me feel validated. Aww. I'm empty and shy. Oh, Uncle Danny. <laughs> I like how the music video is like parodying an 80s sitcom. <laughs> I see what he's doing in the music video. Naughty, naughty. He's getting snow blind. <laughs> He's all roasting a crack pipe. That's fucking hilarious. You snort cocaine for your little boost for the day, and people call you a drug addict. But if you're addicted to Starbucks, nobody says shit. Danny, look down from there. Why are you doing this, Danny? I've been destroyed. And if I destroy it, maybe I'll feel okay. None of us feel okay. Oh, Uncle Danny. <laughs> Yeah, ain't it funny how it happened? The troll's been all day fucking with me. I'm sitting in the dark after nine o'clock, ready to rock. Sock it to these trolls while they suck my cock and I rock. I'm like a rock church bells, laughing when the shotgun shells put them on blast, put them in the past, because the shit ain't gonna last. A cobra can spit rhymes, don't get it twisted. It would have inspired me to get into rapping. It's going to sound corny as fuck, but like Eminem and watching Kangaroo Jack, I'd spit rhymes for my classmates, and they'd come up and be like, Saunders, Saunders, what? Do a rhyme, dude. Yeah, okay. Ain't it funny how it happens? It's extremely funny how it fucking happens. I grew up getting rejected by every chick I've liked since the fourth grade. And now I got chicks who just hit me up out of the blue like, Cobra, I'm your biggest fan, girl. Want to see a picture of my outrage titties? Damn, yes. <clears throat> and that's, that's for my viewing pleasures only. I don't share shit like that with the... Uh, but I am going to brag about it because it's kind of rock star. I'm not going to lie. You know what's nice about fucking YouTube when it doesn't copyright strike my ass when I can show off my amazing singing voice and then it just slips through the cracks. And then like Cobra's doing his thing singing like popular artists again. Oh jeez. 
Yeah, it is funny how life happens, dude. I've been bullied my entire life, and I grew up to become a famous YouTuber. It really is funny how life happens. And no one tried to take my lunch money growing up, but I'm taking money from my trolls. They, they donate to talk shit, like hoping that Cobra will see it and think it's a fan donating money kind of thing. And it's just like he takes what the message and twists it back to ruin the troll's life. And it's just like, you don't see me giving money to my trolls when they go streaming on their channels. Because 95% of my trolls just steal my fucking content and fucking rip on me. And it's just like, you couldn't handle it. You couldn't handle what Cobra's got. Most people couldn't. It's funny how it happens because when I was growing up as a kid and started doing the whole Cobra Demon thing, they were taking me to head doctors and shrinks and whoever else, and they're like, Oh, Josh thinks he has powers or whatever. And freaking now we got people on TikTok who identify as demon for their pronouns, and if you don't respect it, you're a bigot. And, like, these pussies you see on TikTok who identify as demon, they don't even fuck with the occult like I do, you know? Most people are like, you shouldn't bring in a Ouija board into, into a haunted cemetery and try to summon shit. That's super bad juju. Me, I'm just like... And you, you've all seen the Halloween video. The audio was crap because my phone was busted at the time, but I was very respectful. I chugged a 40 and used the empty bottle as an ashtray so I wasn't ashing on the ground out of respect for the deceased. And, uh, yeah, I, had, I like taking my Ouija board and messing with it in cemeteries and shit. I, I think it's just amazing. Getting in touch with your inner spirit, spiritual side, you know. Now, I got an encyclopedia of over 5,000 spells sitting on my bookshelf. I know my shit. I'm starting to, at least. This is what I ask, okay? If I was your average everyday Christian, nobody would question it. Nobody would question it, YouTube. You followed the norm, so blah, 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 just go with the flow. But because I practice my own branch of magic, you know, people can't handle it. And I'm like, my religion doesn't hurt anyone <clears throat> unless they deserve it. But when you got the powers of Satan and the universe at your fingertips, then you can tell me some shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, fuck yeah. Thank you, Danny Brown, for supporting my videos. That was a uh, crazy music video. That was about as crazy and weird as the last one I watched. But that's what makes it fun, I guess. As long as it doesn't cross the line, you know. Oh, that 
such a good drink combo, dude. This uh, black cherry soda mixed with Jack Daniels is fucking delicious. I went to go buy some monkey shoulder, but the place I bought it from said someone just bought the last bottle. I'm like, it is what it is. I wanted to do a review for it on YouTube, but I didn't get too bent out of shape about it because it's like I'm, I should be grateful that I even get to buy some, especially after everything considered. You know, literally, I haven't had a drink all fucking day, and that didn't irritate me. What irritated me was technology, you know, the internet, cell phone, fucking stupid people. And you can't control whether people are dumb or not. All you can do is control how you react to it. And sometimes I'm not trying to be a narcissistic dick about it, but it's exhausting living in a society full of idiots. It is mentally exhausting to a point where it's just like, hey, you don't need to drink, but it takes the edge off, you know? The trolls just want the support that I have, and it's beyond pathetic. I'm like, you could get that if you actually did something with your life other than, I'm going to harass King Cobra JFS. You know, my wood lathe broke, but, uh, I was, I'm still able to make wands with it. There's a piece on the side that doesn't turn. And uh, I figured out how to MacGyver it so that way it does work and I'm able to still continue carving wands. I, lo I love that wood lathe, dude. The fucking fans who sent it are just awesome, you know. So, like, okay, yeah, okay, the Cheyenne Police Department took my wand. whoop de fucking do I can always make another one, you know. I feel like a dick for the way I acted on Friday. That was completely uncalled for. And what made me feel worse about it, my dad came over and literally, my dad gave me an Ozzy Osbourne record from when he bought it when he was my age, you know, or younger. I was going to say my dad was in his 30s when, when we were living in South Lake Tahoe, California, but... That's beside the point. No, my dad liked the pocket knife I got him for Christmas, and that made me feel a little bit better, but I still honestly feel like a piece of shit, YouTube. And just the reaction that I've gotten from my family because of my drinking, it's, it's just one of those things where, like, you know what? I don't care if my family judges me. I don't care if they stop drinking. That's not their problem. This is my problem. And I need to cut down on my drinking. You know? Because fuck me, I come up with some of the tastiest drink combos, and it's just easy to sit there and go, oh, that's really fucking good. And just, you know, one after another. Then the whole fucking bottle's gone, and the next day you're craving some Jack, and then you can't have it because you drank it all the night before, and you're going, man, I get tired of that cycle, dude. So it's just like, okay, you have like one or two drinks out of the bottle, sit it down. Forget about it, and then the next day when you want some, you'll have some, you know, versus, yeah. But let it be known for the fact that black cherry soda, okay, black cherry soda and Jack Daniels is fucking delicious. One second. <laughs> Ooh, black cherry cobras are delicious. Now, when I posted a, the thing on Facebook that said I was going to cut down on my drinking, that if you saw me doing drink combos, that you weren't going to see me going ham like I normally do, I meant it. You know? That's why I'm like, hey, you know what? After this, I'm good on the jack. I'll save the rest of that for for tomorrow so I can have a proper New Year's. I don't, I don't need alcohol to enjoy my New Year's. You know what I'm saying? But it is nice, you know? 12 o'clock, pops around, and you're just like, fuck all the bullshit for this year, and you pop open a bottle of champagne and cheers to a new year, and all the great things that you're going to do with your life. 
So my New Year's resolution is to continue to work on my temper and my confidence, to cut down on my drinking, and to continue making videos for my fans. You know, and that's that's real, YouTube. I wouldn't have a career if it weren't for my idols and for my fans. And that's a fact. Also, I hope Sharon and Ozzy make it safely back to England when they move over there so Mo to be in the witch's circle. Now, a circle of protection on Ozzy Osbourne and his entire family, so Mo to be in the witch's circle. Hail Satan and long live Ozzy, motherfucker. There's actually a, a quote from an Aussie song that said, I didn't deserve the love you gave. And that's exactly how I feel with the whole Friday situation of me ending up in jail and getting out because I'm autistic, it's Christmas, and I feel like a douche for what I did. That was actually a really good wake up call because when my dad sat there and told me, what a piece of shit I was being to him, to my sister Tiana, and to those innocent customers at Loaf and Jug. I feel awful, dude, because that's not who I am when I drink, you know? When I get drunk or drink, I turn into a smart ass and I stumble all over the place. I'd rather be that kind of drunk than some kind of asshole who just takes on all his issues, you know? kind of thing. But the only reason I'm getting therapy and cutting down on my drinking is because it'll make everyone else around me feel better about the situation and because I feel like an ass for what I did. You know, I'm not doing this for me because therapy's a fucking joke. You know, if you're intellectually smart enough, there are some people who can't process their emotions. And for people like that, for people like that, therapy is great. If you're one of those people that has a hard time being logical with your with your feelings and emotions, then therapy is amazing. But if you're more in tune with yourself and aware of your surroundings, that's why a lot of fucking people hate me to be honest, is, yeah, Cobra has his issues, but he's got it more together than the, all the assholes who fucking make it their life's mission to bully me. And I, I already know my fucking trolls are going to be like, oh, Clint, your son's drinking on camera again. Oh, you, you need to put him in a group home. And it's like, yeah, try it. See what happens. You think I'm an asshole on Friday? Second of all, you know, it, it's totally within my control. You know what I'm saying? It's totally, it, it literally is totally within my control to be like, you know what? I like Jack Daniels, but I don't have to have it all the time. If I do have it, four drink minimum if you're socializing. That's always been my rule. I've had that rule since I turned 21. You know. Because growing up with a family full of alcoholics, I've seen it firsthand, and it's, you know what I'm saying, YouTube? It's not a good look. And it always kind of made me feel a little sad. But at the same time, when I hear about all the struggles that my family's had to go through and overcome with alcohol addiction, I'm just a part of the cycle, YouTube. It is what it is. The reason why I say I don't need therapy is because YouTube is kind of like my therapy session, you know. If I'm, like, depressed because the world around me is trying to normalize sickos, and I fucking hate sickos, and they're abusing LGBTQ plus to do it. And if I go off and bitch about it, I'm being told I'm not woke enough, and it's just like, 
Do you hear yourself right now? Oh, 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 oh. There we are. I fucking hate sickos more than I love Jack Daniels. Now, I love my uh, prescription lenses. The only thing I don't like is the bar across the top. But they kind of have that Elvis Presley sort of Ozzy Osbourne vibe. <laughs> When I saw the frames, so I went for it. Now, if I can go on YouTube and acknowledge that, yeah, sometimes I drink too much and I need to work on that. But my trolls can't admit that they have an unhealthy addiction to King Cobra. People's obsession with me is fucking weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love Ozzy Osbourne, the Prince of Darkness, but there's a line, there's just lines you don't cross. I love my idols, Ozzy and Danny Filth, no homo. You know what I'm saying? But there's a line you don't fucking cross, for fuck's sake. And, like, I try to record a guitar video on my computer, and the speaker cuts in and out, so it kind of messes it up. But if I record the guitar with my phone, like you've seen in my last two guitar videos, it's like, fuck me, Cobra's gotten better at guitar. And it just makes the trolls mad. And let me give you a piece of advice. I had two options, get better at guitar or become super obsessed with my fucking YouTube trolls to the point of sheer insanity. I'm like, I'm not going to spend all that energy into my trolls. I'd rather focus on getting better at guitar and putting myself out there as a musician and showing off my vocal skills and my guitar playing kind of thing. And it's kind of paying off, dude, because you got people like Danny Brown who are just like, yeah, I dig this cracker, man. Mm. But I am saving a bottle of pink champagne to pop open on New Year's when 12 o'clock hits Casper time pop in that bottle I'm secure enough with my heterosexuality and my cisgendered existence that I don't care if people ridicule me for drinking it and that's kind of why a lot of trans and gay people get sick and tired of everything you know to a point where it's like you can't drink pink champagne without someone calling you a faggot and it's like, okay, so I'm bougie and chicks dig my style. That's your problem, not mine. I'm loving the new, new pie high hat that I made here. The fans sent it. It's made from real Australian leather. That's a knife. Crikey! Do you remember when Steve Irwin died? I was just like, fuck this shit. But he died doing what he loved doing. And that's just the way you gotta go sometimes, you know. Dude, if I die getting bit by a fucking poisonous king cobra, then it's just like, hey, you know what? Fuck it. He went out like a... <laughs> that would be my luck, too. 
sitting there in Southern Asia like, right, I got a shit ton of marijuana. I want to go hunting for wild cobras, and I'm going to smoke weed with them and try to fuck with them, pick them up, you know, like Steve Irwin does. Like, oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, feisty little bastard, aren't you? No, I grew up watching Stu Verwin in the 90s. My Aunt Shannon gave me a VHS tape. Crocodile Hunter, Spitting Cobras of the World. And I still have it. I have it tucked away in storage in my apartment because I don't have a VHS tape. But people like that just have balls. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, hey, I want to pick up a poisonous cobra. I don't care if it bites me. The camera's on. How's it going? And so many people have followed in, like, Steve Irwin's footsteps. For starters, his son spit an image of him, dude. Tell you what. And they see Dingo's World, and then you see, like, Chandler's Wildlife with with uh, Kevin and, like, Justina. And you're just like, yes, snakes are fucking awesome. No, it's crazy the fan support that I get. It really is, man. Like, people who call me on the cell phone, and you got to be careful with the internet kind of thing. And these of-age fangirls who were just like, oh, my God, King Cobra, I'm fangirling super hard. And I don't got to do anything to get this girl to notice me at this point. It's just, I'm King Cobra. I exist. And that's, you know, that takes a bit of getting used to, but I kind of like it. I'm not going <laughs> to... Yeah. It's the effect you have on women, especially when you, when you can sing like freaking John Lennon, Le Legend, uh, and Lennon, yes. All of me loves all of you. Love your cousin. 